Right everybody, welcome back to Angler Carl. Now in this video today, I am going to be reviewing my new Daiwa D100 Seatbox System 36. Now I was going to film some videos on Aston Park Fisheries, but once again, the weather is terrible, so I thought it would be a good idea to come in the back garden and film this seat box review for you people. So we got rid of the matrix um, and we've got this now. This will be my new seat box going forward. Now, thank you ever so much for the support on the last seat box review. We did it absolutely blew up. We got loads of subscribers, loads of likes, loads of comments. If we can do that again, but beat it, that would be amazing. And also make sure you check out my other videos on the channel as well. Keep subscribing. Keep liking, sharing, and posting your comments down below. I really do appreciate it. So without further ado, let's get into this seat box review. So first of all, what we're going to do is have a look at price. Brand new at the current time of recording this video. Now at the minute on Angling Direct, this seat box is £449, which is kind of, you're getting towards the mid-range bracket of seat boxes, so you're not at the ridiculously high-end prices at like 800 pound and 900 which is just which is crazy i mean you know if you want something like that then fair enough but i think this is a good in between i didn't actually pay that for this i got mine second hand off ebay for around about 200 and something pounds so i did get a really good deal if you guys want to go second hand you can get good deals but if you are going to go brand new the average price I found one on here on Bristol Angling at £440, which is not a bad deal at all. And then Tackle Tavern, £448.99. So it, it, it sort of fluctuates on kind of where you look. But overall, it's not a bad price. So first of all, I'm going to tell you people about the things I don't like about this seat box. Like with the last video, I'll flip the camera around and we'll talk about it. Um, but the big thing for me is this comes quite stacked. So there's a lot of stackers. So I've actually took two of these off and for a good reason, which I'll show you people in a minute. One thing that I will say, when all these are on and, you know, you sit on it, the seat, the actual box, it doesn't feel very solid. You know, it doesn't feel like really, really solid. It feels good when you sat on it. It feels well, you know, there's no rocking um but you know when you take the actual box off it does feel a little bit fragile i don't know why these to me just feel a little bit i don't know they don't sound the best so far it's held up well but they just don't feel very i don't know it feels like they could easily break or anything i could be wrong maybe it's just me but they do tend to feel a bit sort of weak so the next thing i want to go on about is how stable is this box well i can honestly say with these 36 mil legs which is i believe are the biggest legs you can get on a seat box correct me if i'm wrong it's solid it's absolutely solid i can move about i can do whatever back forth and this box ain't going nowhere it's it honestly that is one thing that's impressed me with this box. It is just, it's crazy stable. It really is very stable, very good for that. So this is the box. Now I want to talk about color. The black and with the little red strip is beautiful. I absolutely love that. You get some Daiwa logos on these. These do come off as like with the matrix. So if I unscrew that and I don't know why, but these just feel really solid. They don't feel like they could easily pop off. Like, you know, when you screw them in, they just they just do feel bloody. They just feel solid as a rock. Now, another thing what I like is this foot plate. So a lot come quite filled in and they have very small gaps, whereas the Daiwa one has big gaps. So it's not as bad when you're cleaning it. And this is probably up there with one of my favourite features about this. To put the foot plate back in, it couldn't be more simple. You just unscrew these right here, these two little knobs here. And then it just literally slides in and then that's it. And then to slide it out, you literally just pull it out. I'm trying to do this one-handed. And then there you go. And then you just tighten these back up. Honestly, one of the... It's just brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. You've got your little um, holder for a pole if you want to like put a little rest here. 
Now, another thing is die was 180 degree fasteners. So it'll move all that way and then it'll go all the way around and then you can tighten it. That is a big, big plus for me because say if you're transporting it into your car and what have you, you can easily catch these um, knobs here. Whereas if you've got the 180 turning, you can just literally put it there and tighten it up there. It's brilliant. Also, Daiwa branding, really nice. And they feel really robust and solid. You've got a spirit level on the foot plate. I know it's not level. And then you've also got a spirit level on the back. And then Daiwa D100 System 36 branding, really, really nice. And as always, a nice padded strap. The next thing I want to talk about and what I really do like about this, you get two lovely drawers. So as you can see, I've got all my stuff in that one and I've still got plenty of space. That's one of the drawers and it comes all the way out. You just have to be careful not to pull it all the way because you can easily, you know, pull it all out and it'll fall over. And as well, when you're picking it up, make sure it doesn't tip because uh, I have had that problem before. And then there's your second drawer, which again so much room in this box you know there's absolutely loads i've got different bits and bats in here and it just is really nice it's just a really good um bit of storage space i'm sure you can add more um, as you go along now the seat is one great feature about this it's so padded compared to the matrix one that was a lot firmer this one is so nice it, you know it's it's got such nice paddings. Now, this is something I did want to talk about. So when you take this box off, which all you do is you, you move these clips here, which granted are nice clips, and then that one there and then that one there, I will try and show you people. So my point is, is when you're grabbing it like this, these little like tray units they just seem to have a bit of play in them like i don't know what it is but it don't i don't know there's something about it it just feels a little bit weak so my second bad point about this whole box i've only got two you know kind of negative things is if you were to put something in the deep tray unit which is this and i'll never understand why daiwa did this if I'm transporting this, because I always like to take my box off because, you know, it just takes the weight off the whole seat box. All the stuff that I've got in here would just literally topple out. Because if you look, and this is why I took these two stackers off, because it adds to a deep tray. If you then say lift these up here, I think it's these actually, sorry. So if you lift that up, as you can see, that would be your deep tray unit right there so obviously you can see the patio but that would be right there now that to me is a bit of a problem because if you put your toweling or your sunglasses and then let's say you don't want to move it let's say you want to you know transport it and take the box off which takes the weight down you kind of can't do that because what would happen all your stuff would just fall out that's my only two little qualms with this is like i said i could take them off that was easy and i'm going to show you exactly what i mean now i've got both of these on so if you move it there and move it there right simple you can add all your stuff in that bottom tray you can make it deeper with them too but if you want to remove this actual box bit here to transport you're gonna to have to take all your stuff out that's in there if you don't mind carrying the 17 kg weight of this, then you're not going to have a problem. But if you do mind, you're going to have to just make some adjustments like I've done and then basically just not even use the bottom tray. because And you can't exactly take this bottom tray off because it's screwed into the frame, which I don't get, you know. Again, they could have maybe done something different there. So going on to the very top storage unit, it's not a lot. All it is... Is this little top bit in all i do is keep my towel in here and that's about it look wise this thing is just amazing it looks so nice 
these legs are absolutely solid and as well you can extend these legs by twisting these now these aren't on the 180 system thing it is only these here so these are fixed you can't move them around these are just on the legs and then your feet also uh, go back backwards and forwards for uh, a bit more stability so in a nutshell to sum this video up would i recommend this box absolutely i think it's very comfy there's good storage space with the two side drawers if you can pick one of these up for let's say 250 pound or under 300 pound get one because it is such great value for money would i recommend you buy one brand new i'd always recommend looking for second hand first and then if you can't and you really want one then just pick one up brand new it is die and you know what you're getting so you know if you want to go down the brand new route just have that brand spanking new box that no one's ever used then go for brand new if you want to find one at a better deal then go down the second hand route but either way you will not be disappointed with this box another quick side note the system 36 attachments so you can get uh, attachments for this i think you can get like feeder arms um, and stuff you can get die with pole socks now i what I would always go the other route and get other branded attachments because sometimes you can find better ones. You can find good deals on different attachments. If you're not OCD, I'd recommend going down the other branded attachments because, you know, die words, ones are sometimes hard to find, but you have to just scour internet and see what you can get. But overall, I'd recommend this seat box. It's very, very comfortable. It's you know the space on it's good it just it's just a great great seat box so hope you people did enjoy this video if you did make sure you've subscribed it really does help the channel out and i really do appreciate it when you do as i always said don't forget to subscribe thank you all for the recent support it means the world to me post your comments down below hit that bell so you're notified on when i do upload more videos like this and hopefully next time we can get back out on the lake and escape this horrible weather. And if you are fishing, have a good one.